is to deal with my body. Like, what is going on? Oh my gosh, this is so crazy. If I like it, it's not gonna be bad. If I just eat one noodle on a piece of chicken, it's not gonna be bad, or is it? Am I gonna Guys, this is, um, I believe day nine. It's not day nine, day eight, one of the two. I, I'm all over the place. You will know when you see the video. Um, I had to drink some Gatorade yesterday, which contains sodium and sugar. Did not pay it attention. I was just trying to drink it for electrolytes. Yeah, not a good thing. So, I got to weigh in. I don't know how that's going to do. But let's see if it threw me completely out of ketosis. Doesn't look like it. Let's let that sit for a couple seconds. Hold on, y'all. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, so I drank that Gatorade, and it actually gave me a little bit good feeling, but I know it's, it's when I looked it up, it's so bad for my diet. Not diet, Lord Jesus, for my fast. So it's not too, too bad. I'm still in ketosis, but... When I tell y'all my gut is bloated, oh my gosh, my gut is bloated. Alright, that's my um, ketones test for ketosis. This is, um, this is day nine, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, I'm going through my detoxing phase. So I truly need to relax. I'm gonna, being in the bed has been the best for me it has been the best for me um just been relaxing thinking about life thinking about things thinking about what i'm gonna do when i get off the fast um which i don't have a specific date um i have a mental note of what i want when i want to get off the fast and you guys will know when i'm done because it'll be in a vlog but um i've been thinking about i don't know i feel like keto is bomb and in it will allow me to lose weight but my my plan isn't going to be so much of weight loss once i get to a certain point my plan is more so of um strength training and toning my body really well once i get to a certain point so I'm like, keto is still restricted of things that I do love and I do enjoy. And I'm going to be honest with you. Did this fast? Is this fast taking away the um, taste for certain things or making me feel like, oh, I don't want that. I'm not going to eat that. And that's not going to, you know, I'm not going to have a, a taste for that and that. No, not at all. I'm being honest with you. I feel like still since I even been doing the fast, I've been thinking about the things that I, I haven't eaten that. I can't wait to um, be able to try again. Um, but I feel like I would be more disciplined because I did this. And that was my point. My point of it was, and I always told y'all, I never wanted to be restricting myself. And if you watch my video yesterday about what my client was talking about, about the surgery, that was the reason why surgery was never an option for me unless it was life-threatening and I have to be here for my family type situation. So with that being said, I um, have been thinking about maybe OMAD where I can eat what I want one time a day and, you know, get my fitness in. And um, there is going to be a certain point in my journey, which will be coming. And I will be letting you guys know when that happens, um, where I won't be going five days a week. I'll be going three days a week, but I'll be going hard for those three days, Monday, Wednesday, Friday at the gym. Um I know mom was saying three days would be good for her as well, but I know for sure that I at least want to get the gym at least three days, but I'm going to be going in on those three days. And I know that her and I will have to kind of separate because I'm focused to get certain things done. And I know I don't want to overdo it, her to overdo it, trying to do what I do, you know, because we're working out together, but we'll still be in the gym together, but it'll just be a little bit different. So I know that's going to be something that changes because I definitely need to get this body toned up. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I'm feeling my body. I can feel the changes, how my legs feel smaller, my face feels smaller, my um, arms, you know, just different parts of me feel so much smaller. Um, but yeah, I have totally been contemplating. Then I'm like, well, maybe I can do 
three days of um keto during the week and then the other four eat what i want um and don't just eat one meal a day so my thoughts are all over the place about what i want to do and because i'm vlogging this journey until i get to that ultimate goal weight um i may i won't be vlogging every day um and even when i get down where i drop down the three days a week of the gym i won't be vlogging every day and weighing in every day i won't have to do that um because i won't be so focused on weight loss i have i will have gotten to a place with my weight where i'm comfortable and i'm happy enough to continue living life without the aches the pains and the things that i've been dealing with and being able to comfortably wear clothes that i enjoy and all that good stuff and not feel some type of way so with that being said yeah i some people ask me what i'm gonna do after the fast i don't really know at this time i don't really know but i will say omad has been on my brain keto has been on my brain um but i'm not sure i'm not sure but i don't like restricting myself as well so because of that and like i said just a few minutes ago i feel like because i did this I should be able to go back to eating how I did when I lost weight before where I just ate really healthy, really moderate and didn't overdo it or overindulge. And I tweaked the things that I ate and then I had certain days that I would eat the things that I truly, truly enjoy and be able to indulge on them and didn't have a problem with weight gain or anything like that. So that's kind of where I'm at. Um, I thank you guys for the support. I thank you guys for the love. I thank you guys for those of you who are truly watching these videos because what y'all don't realize is a lot of people don't understand it, but this is my journey. This is to change my life, not only just for me, but I only put these videos up to inspire other people. And if y'all don't realize these videos, when you see a video, more than likely, if it's 10 minutes or more, sometimes even less, it could be. It takes me hours just to get that video to you. So for those of you who don't understand the work that goes behind YouTubers putting this stuff out, it, it, it's a lot. I am a mom, I am a wife, and I still have things that I have to do. I still have, excuse me, I still have a life. So I, I you know, it's really respected when I see people truly are watching the videos um because of the questions you ask and because of the things you say and even with me if i truly support somebody i may not be able to watch it right away as soon as it posts but i'll watch it even if i have to pause it and come back and come and fit until i finish it that's just me that's just me personally why because i understand what goes on behind this you see in a video you think it's 10 15 minutes but not realizing it took about two to three hours of that person time to edit it to get the footage together to you know get it right for you and then um upload it and to save it into the editor then save it from the editor take it to the uh youtube thing and load it into it is a process it is not easy it is not easy um so i just wanted to let y'all know that for those who don't know and that's why when you see me say thank you for being consistent or thank you for supporting me i truly mean it um and i'm not stupid i can tell who truly is really watching the videos certain times when questions are asked and stuff like that but um it is what it is i love what i'm doing i'm going to continue what i'm doing because i know that it is going to be inspiration for somebody y'all know i'm not doing the gym i'm thinking about not even doing it um into next week i'm not sure um but you guys will know that oh, you guys can know that or find that out uh, because the next day will be monday but you guys will find that out i'll let you guys know exactly what i decide but i'm feeling like this is kind of sort of the best for me. Um, I know this is not allowing me to get um, maximum weight loss, but it also, I thank God the scale is not going up. Even if it goes down a little bit, I can't be too mad, um, but we shall see. So, yeah. All right, guys. Uh, we'll see you guys in the rest of the video. If something else happens or something comes in my brain, I will insert that clip of me speaking about that or sharing that experience or whatever it is oh today i noticed i had little little random white pimples in different areas with like white pus in it and that was a sign of detox as well so yeah that was something else my throat is not hurting as much my eye still is hurting um what else what else what else but laying down is like the best thing for me as far as um how i feel laying down is the best so all right, let me get out of here. My husband is literally making fettuccine Alfredo. And it smells so freaking good.
He's literally making fettuccine alfredo. I'm so like over it. Like all the stuff that I said, I can't wait to eat again. It's like he's been making it. I ain't gonna say he's been making it. I'm maybe I'm getting a little during this fasting time. I'm getting a little grumpy and irritated, and I'm really irritated that he's doing that. Cause I'm smelling. I'm like, Rizzy, what is he making? It smells so good. Fettuccine alfredo. Really. Really. Anyways. Um, yep. See, smelling the food like that is where my willpower really comes in. It's more of a struggle than seeing something. I can't smell it on TV. But when it's in the house and it's being made and he's making garlic bread and all that stuff, it's like, really? Really? And I'm drinking this nasty old water that... My taste buds are like, this water is so freaking disgusting. I was talking to one of my um, revivers on the phone, and I was like, you ever did something or hear somebody that they did something for so long because they had to or was something that they made themselves do to a point where after the fact, it might have been something that they enjoyed. It wasn't nothing bad but it was something that they actually enjoyed but because they overdid it and had so much of it it's like they despise it my eyes jumping could y'all see it no. it's so disgusting the strawberry lemonade stuff is so freaking disgusting it's so freaking disgusting I hate just laying in the bed. I hate it, but I feel so much better laying in the bed. It's so irritating laying in the bed. It really is. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Just wanted to come on and talk to y'all. That food smells so good. I like to get up and get out. It's nice outside. It's, oh. <sighs> Push through. Push through, CPR. Push through. <sighs> I love her mukbangs. She be so <laughs> pretty. I love them. <laughs> well, we're not even going to talk about how it's a holiday Monday. Yeah. And we've been invited to a couple different places. And I said, no, y'all could go. I'll stay here in bed. I know how that feels. <sighs> Just went downstairs. And went to get some water. And I see that big old pot of Alfredo. I literally opened the lid and I was looking at it. I said, if I lick it, it's not going to be bad. If I just eat one noodle and a piece of chicken, it's not going to be bad. Or is it? Am I going to lose everything I already worked for? I closed the lid. It was like somebody shutting the door in my face. And I turned around and I walked back upstairs and continued watching this mukbang. Literally, I'm watching another mukbang. She almost done now. And I said, no, it's not worth it. You will be able to eat those things again. Just not. It's like 9.38, and I'm just sitting there chilling. I've been having gas like crazy. Why? Tell me why did I just shart, if you know what that means, on myself? I thought it was a nice size, you know, past gas because I've had it so often. And yeah, now I'm off to go take a shower. Why is it doing this? Where, where is it coming from? What is coming out? thought that this happened already like what is the deal with my body like what is going on oh my gosh this is so crazy and then like after I did it I kept like trying to push you know as if I was passing gas and it just kept like gas just kept coming 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 and it wasn't like a fart it was like air like it was just really weird sorry if this TMI but this is my fast and this is my journey and I'm sharing it so let me go get in the shower
1.4 pounds. I'm just gonna give it a whole pound and then go here. And that's where we're at. Um, not exercising is irritating my inner soul, but my body is basically detoxing like crazy. Um, as you've seen the uh, video where I had another episode. Um, if you watched it, you know what I'm talking about. And um, this morning I woke up with ear ache. Oh my gosh, my ear was aching so bad, like on my right side. It was doing that before like a couple days ago on the left side. So now it's on the right side. Um, still nasty taste keep coming in and out. But usually when I brush and scrape my tongue, it's not bad. Let's keep pushing, guys. Um, that's all I can say. Um, like I said, I'd rather the scale go down in some way than to go up. I'd rather either stay the same and go down or, you know, not go up. So, alright, I'm real tired, so I'm about to get this video edited and out for y'all on this Saturday morning. Alright, this is day 9 results.